Okay guys, here we are on a cold morning. I think it's about uh, 12 or 15 degrees out and I'm working on acclimating my puppies uh, to riding on the ATV. So what I started off with here is I got them used to sitting in these crates uh, inside and I kind of would put them in the crates, let them crawl in there, get used to it and then I started having them stay in there and I'd walk away from them and I'd come back with a treat and then I'd walk away little farther and I'd come back with the tree. Then I'd walk away and I would add a little bit of time, what I call adding pauses. And so I got them to where they would stay in those crates for about uh, 10 or 15 minutes, you know, with a minimal amount of tree work. Not all that much tree work, you know, but just enough to kind of keep them busy. I would even give them little pig's ears pieces and stuff just to kind of make them really look forward to getting in that crate and feeling like nothing bad was going to happen as a result of staying in there and uh, being still. As a result of doing good prep work inside, I was able to transfer my milk crate uh, rack outside, put it on my ATV, start my ATV, and, and really basically have no trouble out of my puppies. So as you saw, I did a little bit of food work with them, and then I wanted to make sure they were chill. So I, I waited till they would just, you know, kind of settle in and show me that they were hanging out and having a good time and not needing any treats. So after a while, I was pretty sure that my puppies were, you know, really cool with being in the crate. You know, one of the things I had to worry about was uh, when when the uh, ATV starts running and moving, all the dogs get excited. They love to chase it because most of them, you know, they think we're going to go out back and ride around on the trails. Well, when those other dogs get excited, uh, you know, it would be very easy for the puppies to want to get down and, and run around and play with them. And that's why I use those slip leads so they can't accidentally jump out. So we did a, you know, a few ups and backs, you know, mainly when you start this off, uh, trying to travel slowly and in a straight line. You don't want to add turns until you're really sure that the puppy's very, very comfortable. Uh, you don't want the puppy to have a bad experience. You know, think about yourself. If you've ever had to sit in the back of a car and you had a crazy driver, you know, it's very easy to get car sick and then you don't want to ride with those people anymore. So it's super important that your puppy have a good first, second, third experience. Don't be that crazy driver. Take your time, do it right, and they'll love it, I promise.